<laughs> I ain't helping you. You guys are playing. <laughs> Don't come for me for help. <laughs> Nice all off, pooping on camera. Is that your defense mechanism? You poop to keep her away? Why is everyone picking on Olaf today? George, what are you doing to Obo? <laughs> it's pick on Olaf day. Yeah, thanks for all the help. Olaf, you're a big goat, you got this. <laughs> See? <laughs> hey, Chungus. What's up, turkeys? How you guys doing? All right. All right, so welcome back to White House Farm. Uh, what we're going to be doing today is we're gonna be building a 55 gallon drum uh, barrel feeder. I've uh, been wanting to do this for a while, just haven't had time. Uh, so we got our barrel. We're gonna go ahead and start cutting off the top. And then we're gonna go ahead and cut some two by fours into four foot lengths. And we're gonna go ahead and start mounting them, get them in there, and then set the whole thing up and then fill it up with feed for the animals. And it's gonna make life a lot easier. Well, not for me, but for my son, so he's not running out. Uh, twice a day all the time um, but we're let's go ahead and uh, get started on this and here we go All right, so the next thing we want to do is go ahead and cut this top off. And this one had uh, teriyaki sauce in it. Uh, once again, I don't think I mentioned that. Uh, I did in some of my other videos. 
make sure you get uh, barrels that aren't filled with anything toxic for your animals. Uh, teriyaki sauce is actually, uh, they like it. <laughs> All right, so the next thing we want to do, we want to figure out uh, with these boards how high we want it off the ground. Um, so I'm thinking I'm going to go right with these four foot boards. I'm going to follow the line here and I'm going to mount them like that. That way it gives roughly, I think that's half the board. So that'd be like two feet. So two feet up on here and two feet going down. So let's go ahead and get these mounted on there. All right, so next thing we want to do, we want to get our board up here and try to line it up. I'm going to line mine underneath the, the ring right here. Uh, it doesn't need to be perfect. Um, yeah, a lot of this stuff, you know, you, you can measure around the barrel and have it exact and all that stuff, but as long as it stands, it doesn't fall over, you should be good. <laughs> so I'm going to make a mark. I'm going to just go halfway in here and then halfway in here. And this, this is where I'm gonna run uh, my bolts through um, to the, and then inside and then put the nut on and then it'll be on there. So I got my two marks. So let's just go ahead and drill that out. So now, I got quarter inch uh, by two and a half inch uh, screw or uh, bolts and nuts here. Just throw them everywhere. <laughs> and then I got some quarter inch by one inch uh, washers. And then I got some lock washers. And we're gonna take this board. And we're gonna screw these down and through here. And we're just gonna go ahead and get the washer, the lock washer and the nut on here so that way it holds it. And then we can start getting the other one. So we'll do the top first just to hold it. Alright, so we got that one in there. Now we can go ahead and get the other one on. Need long arms for this. <laughs> All right, so we got them in there. Let's go ahead and tighten that whole thing up. And we'll flip this around and we'll try and line the board up with the bottom there.
Start with the top again. That way it doesn't fall off on you. Once again, got them in there, so let's tighten it up. All right, one more leg to go, right here. All right, so here we go. It's all on the boards now. And I'm actually gonna put some boards down here now. And I'm gonna have a bowl in here that this is gonna lead down to for the animals to feed out of. So not only is this going to give it support, but it's also going to help um, raise it up a little to get the bowl that we're going to put in there uh, so the animals can feed. All right, I got four inch uh, PVC here, and what we wanna do, we wanna put this down the bottom there, right in the center, and we're gonna trace all around that, and then we're gonna cut that hole out, and this will fit perfect in there, and this will be your lip so it doesn't fall through, and uh, we'll go ahead and put a coupler on the outside and glue them together, and it'll hold it in there. Uh, another thing I wanna do, um, there's gonna be a lot of feed in there, um, of course, but if it starts getting low, if it gets down to this area, um, the feed can't go into it. So I'm actually gonna cut this down uh, right about to that mark there. So that way, that's more feed that can fall through the hole. Otherwise, the feed will just be sitting around it and uh, doing no good for the animals. So let's go ahead and get this marked out and cut the hole out in the bottom.
All right, let's get our starter hole. All right, uh, since one of my kids moved my jigsaw somewhere and I cannot find it anywhere, I was gonna try the saws off, but uh, I kinda wanna get this right on, so I'm just gonna cut it out with this. Use a jigsaw, it's so much easier. All right, let's go ahead and cut this down. So I just cut it down just a little bit more. That way you get more feed coming through. So let's go ahead and put it through the bottom here. Okay, so now we got that fed through the bottom. Um, let's go ahead and get our four inch pipe and we'll measure it up and see how far we're gonna come down with it. Hey guys, what are you doing? We're making a big feeder all off. Yeah, feeder for me? Nah, it's for the other animals. Oh, come on, come on, please. All right, well, we'll probably make another one for you. I know you love to eat, so. <laughs> all right, Obo. Feeding time over here. Hey Georgie, you guys chowing down? <laughs> oh, it's delicious. All right, eat those pricker bushes. Okay, so let's go ahead and glue our coupling up here. All right. So we got that glued on there now. Let's go ahead and we'll put our bowl in here. And we're just using a rubber one. 
and we're actually going to screw it down into here and i'm just going to use outdoor screws and washers And we're gonna do a bunch of them all around this. That way the animals don't rip it out. All right, so that's screwed in there. So that's not going anywhere. Let's go ahead and we'll see how much this we're gonna need. About 15 inches. Now I want to make some, some notches in here for the grain to come down into it. All right, so it's notched now. So now they'll go in there and the feed will be able to come out and the more they move it and eat, the more feed that will come out. So let's go ahead and prime this up. All right. You gonna try it, Obo? Yeah, I'll try it. I'm hungry. You're always hungry. All right. So the last thing we need to do is the top here. So let's go ahead and get that done. And what we want to do here, we want to put four screws. One there. one there and I forgot to mention this thing the top once you cut it off you're just gonna flip it upside down so the groove sits right in here so it stays waterproof I was gonna use the smaller bungees um, I guess there's all different types of ways you want whatever way you want to put hold this down I'm just gonna go with a longer bungee and go over the whole thing Yeah, I was gonna do smaller bungees just from here to here, but you could do the one big bungee just like that. Might even later on put another bungee over that way, give it a little more support. But I mean, that's that ain't going anywhere. So this thing is all set and put together. 
let's go ahead and get it in the pen and we'll start filling it up with food and we'll see how it works. Let's go ahead and get the food for it. Well, they're already checking it out. There's one. There's two. All right, and you could probably fit part of another bag in there too. But look at that. You like it, Chungus? Oh, we can see Peppa get into it. Now let's put the top on. Like I said, just reverse it so you have this part on the inside. See, now it's all sealed up so no rain can get in there. The turkeys are loving this. Chungus is eating the bag for some reason. Give me that bag. Hey, come here. You little turd. Hey, no, won't you dare. <laughs> hey, Peppa. You gonna go try your food? Come here, Peppa. There we go. Jungus is into it now. <laughs> All right, so this thing works great. Um, this is gonna be a lot easier. We're not gonna be constantly feeding them and everything. Um, so once again, yeah, hope you guys like, enjoy, subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one. Bye guys. You can't say goodbye without saying...
Goodbye to me. All right, Olaf. We'll see you on the next one. All right. Bye, Obo. Bye, guys. <laughs>